Hey friends, welcome to my series, The Mom Blessings of Homeschool. I'm going to do this intro once for all the videos, so if you've seen any of the other videos in this series, this intro will be on repeat, but I just thought I would make this kind of explanation intro for all the videos so you know what this series is about, and if you're stumbling in on video four or six or something, you can go back and find the other videos. I am gonna put these in a playlist just called the mom blessings of homeschool or homeschool blessings, watch this when you want to quit, something like that over in my playlist um, menu. And then you can go to it whenever you're having one of those days or one of those weeks where you wonder how you're just gonna keep doing this homeschool thing and you need some encouragement and not just for the child, not just encouragement that this is good for your kids, but I'm going to tell you in these six videos why homeschooling has been good for me as a mother and a wife and a follower of Jesus Christ. So I hope that you find these six videos helpful. I'm going to be kind of uh, repeating a similar theme throughout these videos about thankfulness. I talk a lot about it on my blog how thankfulness has been a great protector for me. It protects me from anxiety and doubt and fear and depression, and it produces joy. And I want that for you all. I want you to know how thankfulness can be a great protector. Head to my blog and just search on the tag thankfulness. You'll see I've talked quite a bit about it because it's really just transformed my day to day. And I want it to do the same for you. Let thankfulness transform your day by learning to count these blessings. The first blessing I want to share with you is by no means uh, the most important or significant. It's just something had to be number one. So I'm going to share with you the first blessing on my list and I intentionally kept my list kind of short so that it was easy to rehearse in my mind when I needed encouragement and motivation to keep on doing right. So <laughs> um, the first thing I wanted to share with you, the first blessing that I have counted uh, in order to let thankfulness be my protector during the day is that I get to relearn and sometimes learn for the first time so many things. So this is kind of what I'm calling the academic blessing for the homeschool mom. Remember this list is all about the homeschool mom. What homeschool brings to you as the, as the parent in the way of blessing. I get to learn so many things or relearn them. So many things that I thought I knew growing up, I'm discovering I didn't really know so well. And I really enjoy that. I really enjoy knowing things at a deeper level. I can appreciate it now as an older person. You know, when you're young and you just wanna play and do all these things, sometimes the value of education is lost on us, isn't it? But when you grow older a little bit and you've kind of seen a few twists and turns of life, you really begin to appreciate education, at least I do. And in the areas of science and history particularly, I am loving the fact that I get to learn and relearn things that I once knew or maybe I never knew at all and be able to talk more intelligently and um, uh, in a more confident manner about my faith and about the Lord's hand through history and uh, how science and God's word aren't in contradiction with one another. They actually support one another. And so I, I am thankful to be walking along this learning journey with my children because I feel like it is uh, increasing my knowledge base as well. Now, some things, obviously, some things, you know, in those early days like phonics and, um, you know, one plus one and all of that aren't necessarily groundbreaking uh, discoveries for me, but certainly by the time you reach those uh, element, those mid-elementary years, I'm really, uh, just surprised at how much I am learning along with my children. And so that would be blessing number one, but that kind of yields to like blessings that kind of go hand in hand with it that I want to share with you. First of all, learning along with your children not only blesses you as a mom from just the knowledge uh, increase standpoint, 
but it allows you to actually know what your kids are learning. Uh, how many times do your kids get home from a class, be it Sunday school or uh, an art class, or even if you, know, if you send them to, to public school or private school, how was your day? What did you learn today? Oh, it's good. Well, what did you learn? Oh, not much. Well, they learned something, <laughs> hopefully, right? I mean, how was your day? You get these like one-liner answers with no detail. Same thing when your husbands come home from work, right? They don't, they don't offer much detail. And when you are instructing your children and you are uh, providing their education and uh, educational content for them, you know what they're learning. And, and it, it really gives me peace of mind as a mother knowing the content that's going into my kids. And so that is definitely part of this academic uh, blessing number one of being a homeschool mom. But the second part of this academic blessing is being able to have meaningful, natural flow of life discussions with your children. Because again, you know the content that they're learning. I really enjoyed the... Uh, well, how should I say this? Because I don't want to say I en have enjoyed the pandemic. That That's not right. But one, one thing that has been a positive thing in the pandemic is that uh, our church went virtual and we were kind of, as parents, we were kind of um, uh, more involved in our children's junior church lessons and activities because we were... Uh, kind of setting it up on a computer or a laptop for them and encouraged to watch along or listen to their verses with them and all that sort of thing. We were kind of uh, made more of a partner, even more so than we were before uh, in, in their junior church lessons. And I actually knew what my kids were were learning in, in their classes. And I found that, you know, in the middle of the day on Tuesday when something happened that reminded us both of their Sunday school lesson, we chatted about it. And it was just so much more meaningful. It helped that the children retain things better because we were making ties to their everyday life to, to content that they heard on Sunday. And I personally loved that. I loved that and I, I continue to love it because we're still kind of doing it away. We're not fully back to church yet here, but working our way back. But they, they are able to uh, see that the things they learn in church on Sunday uh, apply to our life throughout the week, right? And that's that's a precious lesson. And so I, I don't think I could have done that as well had I not been the one to actually, uh, I wasn't really teaching it because they had videos. I was coordinating. We'll just say I was coordinating that. I was the coordinator. And I didn't have that role before. I would drop them off at their class and ask, ask them what they learned and try my best to pull something out of them so we could talk about it. But that was it, right? When you're a homeschool parent, you know what they're learning, so you know content-wise what's going in, but then you can also have meaningful discussions at other times in the week with your children and really provide hooks, as Charlotte Mason would say, to hang all of that learning on. And I really love that. It has been a blessing. I feel like it's more meaningful, more natural, walking in the way and just bringing up truth to my kids. And it's something I wouldn't have experienced had we not homeschooled because there's just no way I can know everything that is taught to my children in a seven hour day when they're away from the home. So for me as a homeschool parent, that builds relationship, it builds confidence, it builds so many wonderful things that uh, I'm, I'm just truly blessed by and thankful for. And it's the first thing I wanted to share with you all. So as a homeschool mama, if you're wondering if this whole journey is worth it, let's start to count the blessings for you, the homeschool mom. We, we've heard many people talk about what it does for our children, but some days we need to think about ourselves and, <laughs> and, and we need to, to minister to, to our uh, discouragement that might be you know uh, festering in our heart. And so I wanted to do this series of blessings that revolve around the homeschool mom, blessings that are specific to you. You get to learn along with your kids and increase your own knowledge base. And I think knowledge is, is a great a great resource um, to have, not only just for personal uh, advancement, but for uh, having more tools in your toolbox that the Lord can, can use. You get to know what content your children are learning and you get to have more meaningful discussions with them. All wrapped up in what I'm calling blessing number one, the academic blessing, okay? So 
pile this away in a playlist if you make your own kind of watch list or playlist or uh, you can even download or subscribe to or I don't know how, how that works how you uh, like a playlist or whatever if somebody knows how to do that you can leave it in the comments but I'm going to make this into a playlist if you're thinking of quitting just come to this playlist I'll be adding to it continually over the years as the Lord uh, gives me uh, ideas of things to put here. I have six videos that I'm gonna put in this playlist to start, so stay tuned. Uh, please make sure you're subscribed so that you can catch all the new videos in this series as well as the other homeschool and uh, thankful living posts that I share here with you all. Take care, homeschool mamas. Hang in there. It is worth it. See you next time. Bye-bye.